Spain's fifth largest city, Zaragoza, is the capital of the Aragon region. Welcome to Watchzilla, today, we are going to discover the 10 top-rated attractions in Zaragoza. Located south of the Pyrenees, it sits next to Catalonia in the northeast of the country. Zaragoza is a treasure trove of historical and cultural attractions awaiting discovery. Tourists will find ancient Roman ruins, the first Marian church in Christendom, and fabulous art museums. Those who appreciate Baroque architecture will want to visit the Basilica of Out Lady of Pilar, one of the most important pilgrimage churches in Spain. Equally fascinating are the 12th-century Moorish Palace and the splendid UNESCO-listed Mujar architecture of San Pablo, Santa Maria Magdalena, and San Juan de los Panites churches. Art lovers will also appreciate the museums that display Francisco de Goya's famous paintings, as well as works by contemporary artist Pablo Serrano and the renowned sculptor Pablo Gargallo. Discover more things to do in and around the city with our list of the top attractions in Zaragoza. Number 10, Puente de Piedra Restonebridge. At the probably most beautiful vantage point on the Aragonese capital, we would like to begin our small journey through the historical center. Puente de Piedra is an old Roman bridge. This bridge is just the other side of the basilica and runs across the river Ebro. If the Cirzo wind has a bad day, it can be quite windy on the bridge. Therefore, on days like that, you should better leave your summer dress in the suitcase. It's called the Puente de los Leones, or the Bridge of Lions due to the four lion statues created by artist Francisco Rallo Lajas that sit on the pillars at the ends of the bridge since 1991. The bridge itself can look back on a long history. While there already was a wooden bridge in the time of the Roman Empire, the construction of the stone bridge was already begun in the 12th century. However, the actual construction could only be realized and executed between 1401 and 1440. In 1643, the central part of the bridge was destroyed by a flood. A few years later, however, the bridge was repaired and even further expanded and protected from further floods in the 18th century. The bridge was of great importance for the economic growth of Zaragoza. The bridge connects the historic center with a more commercialized and residential side of the city. If you love taking pictures, then you shouldn't miss this one. Walking along this bridge also gives you a great photo position of the basilica with the river in front. It is advisable to visit in the early morning or evening. Number 9, Plaza del Pilar. In the Plaza del Pilar or Plaza de Nuestra Señora del Pilar, as its full name is, you will find some of the city's main attractions. This plaza, which by the way is considered the largest pedestrian square of the EU and the second largest in Europe which isn't surprising as it's the length of the cathedral and many other buildings in the area, is also known as the Salon de la Ciudad. Plaza del Pilar is a 18,000 square meters rectangular square located on the banks of the River Ebro, just north of the old town. This impressive huge open space is lined with some of the Zaragoza's most magnificent landmarks. It's a lovely place to stroll through at all times of the day, and unlike many popular plazas, it doesn't seem to get ridiculously busy, which is why I recommend it as one of the things to see in Zaragoza. There's a waterfall at one end which represents Latin America and a cool world statue, and there's also plenty of seating. There are a lot of things to do since it has restaurants, cafes, shops, and boutiques. Take a seat at one of the restaurants opposite the Basilica de Nuestra Señora del Pilar, from left to right, you'll see the Hispanidad Fountain, the Basilica, the City Hall, the Alma Mater Museum, and the Cathedral of the Savior of Zaragoza. In winter there is a life-sized nativity scene in this square, which is considered the largest in Spain. During the evening, the view is really stunning as you look at beautiful streetlights, and the night market is a must-see. Number 8, Cesar Augusta Theatre Museum. The Romans left their ruins everywhere across the world, including in Zaragoza. Didn't think that Zaragoza would have a Roman theater? No, neither did I but it does. Sat between normal flats and the roads of the city is one of the largest theaters of Roman Hispanic. The remains of an ancient Roman theater that once used to seat 6,000 people, this impressive monument was excavated in 1972. The Museum of the Roman Forum provides a glimpse into the life of Caesar Augusta, an ancient Roman town of the 1st and 2nd centuries that once occupied present-day Zaragoza. Named after Emperor Augustus who founded the town, Caesar Augusta was known for its splendors. The city had a theater, public baths, and a marvelous forum at the center of town life. This exhibition space is at the archaeological space surrounding the Caesar Augusta Forum. The museum stands on the site of the archaeological excavations, underneath the Plaza de Liceo. Observe the walls, the marble pavement, and the radial rings, and you will be brought back to the time of the emperors. 
on display are remains of the Roman Forum that dates back to the era of Emperor Tiberius. Visitors will see artifacts that represent elements of the old market, walls of shops, pipes, and a sewer system. The theater is visible from the surrounding streets and is protected by a huge polycarbonate rood, 25 meters above ground, that is set at the height of the top of the original building. From the ground floor one can enjoy panoramic views of the excavation process. The exhibits are complemented by educational information and interesting audio-visual presentations and 3D models, which illustrate what the theater would have been like in its heyday. On the top floor, another audiovisual presentation offers visitors information about the various cultures that have lived around the theater throughout its lifetime, including Muslim, Jewish and Christian. Number 7, Museo de Pablo Gargallo. If you're a fan of sculptures then you should include this place to your bucket list. Housed in the impressive 16th-century palace of Argillo, this museum is devoted to the work of Pablo Gargallo, a friend of Picasso and the brilliant contemporary sculptor who hailed from the Aragon region, which is recognized as Aragon's most gifted soon after Goya. Pablo Gargallo is known as the master of bronze casting. By visiting this place, you will see his collections of sculptures that are truly magnificent. The museum displays the artist's early works of sculpture in marble and plaster, as well as later works crafted from iron and other metals. Visitors discover the artist's creative genius and artistic vision through the displays of sculptures, drawings, engravings, cartoons, biographical information, and examples of the evolution of civilian architecture in Zaragoza. Highlights of the collection include the Great Prophet, the portrait of Kiki de Montparnasse, and the statues of equestrians called the Olympic Salute. The museum sits in the Plaza San Felipe. Number 6, La Lanja. This building is not only the first building of the city, which was completely built in the Renaissance style, but also the most important civil building of the 16th century in Aragon. This splendid 16th century building stands on the Grand Plaza del Pilar, across from the Basilica. Over the last few decades it's been used as an exhibition hall which it is still used for today, but it was built by the council as a historic marketplace of Zaragoza, where merchants carried out their trading and other commercial transactions, and stands as a symbol of Aragon's commercial power during 1541-1551, so that dealings were not happening in the church. But not only the exhibitions themselves are worth a visit. Designed by Juan de Serenina, the edifice is the city's best example of Aragonese Renaissance architecture from the outside, but is even better inside. Especially the beautiful ceiling is to be emphasized, should be admired during a visit. The building, constructed in brick, features a rectangular plan and a decorative facade, with rows of uniform arched windows and depictions of the kings of Aragon in medallions. The interior holds the building's most impressive features a series of stone columns, which were sculpted from the remains of the city's former Roman walls. Created by Juan de Segura, the columns turn into defined arches, appearing to turn into palm trees. Number 5, La Seo or El Salvador Cathedral. Zaragoza boasts numerous Roman Catholic churches or cathedrals. One that is known for its breathtaking architecture is El Salvador Cathedral. When we say Gothic, this cathedral would be the best representation of what Gothic is, this Roman Catholic cathedral is one of two cathedrals located in the Plaza del Pilar. Dominating the eastern end of Plaza del Pilar, Liceo is Zaragoza's finest work of Christian architecture, built between the 12th and 17th centuries. The Cathedral del Salvador, despite its impressive appearance, is usually in the shadow of the more famous and immense pilar. But a visit is worth it anyway. And not only because the two cathedrals are virtually standing side by side. What makes Seo so unique are the influences of various architectural styles. Built over the main mosque of the old Muslim city, this incredible church is made up of a range of styles Romanesque, Mujar, Renaissance, Gothic and Baroque. In the 8th century, the main mosque of Saracusta Albaida stood in this place the city was called like this at that time. Until the 12th century, the mosque was extended and rebuilt until it was finally destroyed and rebuilt as a church. Since then, the cathedral has been continually expanded and rebuilt until it eventually became the cathedral we still find there today. Liceo del Salvador is a huge cathedral because of its size, you will be amazed when you get inside to find other smaller chapels. You will also see stunning stone works and carvings that make this cathedral more beautiful. You will also love the bricks decoration in the north wall and colorful ceramic tiles. It's definitely worth taking a look inside to appreciate just how grand it is. Be sure to also check out the site of it as it's covered in beautiful mosaics. Incidentally, the cathedral is connected to the building of the Arco del Dean. Number 4, Mercado Central. 
The central market is the heart of a Spanish city, and the one in Zaragoza is not to be missed. For the best shopping place in Zaragoza, you should be headed to Zaragoza Central Market. Zaragoza's Central Market is well worth a visit, filled with colorful fruit stalls, pungent mountains of icy seafood and delicious cheeses. Forget about how much money you will spend on things you love and shop your heart out. There has been a market at this same spot since the 13th century. Located a stroll away from Plaza del Pilar, it's a two-story covered market listed as a National Historic Monument. The current one opened in 1903, the Mercado Central boasts splendid neoclassic architecture and is made mainly of glass and reinforced metal, the same kind that was used in the construction of the Eiffel Tower. It is one of the most stunning examples of modernist of architecture in Aragon. It's closed on Sundays, but the rest of the week it's bustling with stalls selling a range of foods. In Zaragoza's Central Market you can find a wide variety of food and products from many suppliers. Everything can be found here. Smell the fragrance of the freshly baked bread and delicatessen products at hand in this genuine local market. But the beset section is the local farmer's market. Get a glimpse of local life, you'll also find fresh fruits to sample on site. Buy some pig heads, rabbits, olives, and fresh breads. The market is currently undergoing major reconstructions in order to be able to accommodate 74 stalls and 4 catering outlets. Right next door, however, is the transitional market. Number 3, Museo Goya. Apart from Madrid's Museo del Prado, this exceedingly well-laid-out museum contains arguably the best expose of the work of one of the Spain's greatest artists. The famous Spanish painter and the father of the modern movement Francisco de Goya was born in this quaint little country town, 47 kilometers outside of Zaragoza. He spent his youth in Zaragoza. Locals are very proud that he is from the Aragon region of which Zaragoza sits in Spain, and therefore a huge amount of his art is in the city. The tourist highlight of the town is the Goya Museum, which occupies the 18th-century farmhouse where the artist was born. Museo Goya Ibercaja Collection Museo Cayman Asner is the full name of the Goya Museum in Zaragoza. This museum is installed in the 16th-century three-story building that sits 120 meters south of Plaza del Pilar. Each of the three floors has a different focus, the second floor being the one that exhibits Goya's own work. This museum is mainly dedicated to paintings with works ranging from the 15th to 20th century. The museum is housed in a Renaissance building, and there is an audio-visual which plays regularly in Spanish, French and English. The Museo Goya Ibercaja collection displays over 250 works by Romantic painter and printmaker. The collection includes 15 of his essential works and 48 of his prominent pieces, while you can learn more about the artist's life and artistic influences. The museum displays many works by Goya, including Los Desisters de la Guerra, Los Caprichos, Los Disparates, and La Torre Maquia. His probably most famous work is the religious fresco, which can be found next door inside of the pilar. Must-visit exhibitions include the permanent ones located in the Prince Room, such as copies of Velazquez and the Follies. Number 2, Algeferia Palace. Take a journey into the Islamic world by visiting Algeferia Palace. This imposing Zaragoza city palace is overlooked by many visitors, as unlike many of the city's other attractions. Algeferia Palace is a unique witness of the independent Muslim state of Zaragoza. In the heart of Zaragoza, the Algeferia Palace was the 11th century fortified Moorish castle and considered one of the oldest castles in Spain. Just slightly away from the historical center is a palace. Despite everything, the Algeferia is one of Zaragoza's most important and impressive sites. Zaragoza's Algeferia Palace is one of the most important pieces of Moorish architecture in Spain and one of the best outside Andalusia. Marvel at the incredible Moorish architecture that can be found in many Islamic buildings. In the 12th century, it became the palace of the kings of Aragon. Built by Islamic rulers in the 11th century, over the years it has undergone many changes and renovations, while the Catholic monarchs Fernando and Isabel also left their mark when they came into power. The last major renovation took place in the 19th century. An imposing castle-like structure from the outside, on the inside, it is a graceful Moorish palace with an interior courtyard filled with orange trees and an intricately carved archway. The palace, which is surrounded by thick defensive walls and a moat, comes mainly from the time of the Masons. The formidable defenses are well preserved, with remains of immense towers that once surrounded the castle. The castle was designed on a quadrangular plan around a courtyard, and the towers are all round except for a single rectangular tower, known as the Troubadour's Tower. The Islamic-style coffered ceilings and plasterwork ornamentation give the building its charm. 
From the Troubadour Tower to the Golden Hall to the Patio de Santa Isabel, the Hispano Moresque architecture is just outstanding. The Palacio de la Algeferia houses the headquarters of the Aragonese Parliament since 1987. Today, inside, there is a museum where you can learn more about the history of this unique building. The palace is open to the public daily from April to October and Saturday through Wednesday the rest of the year. Since 2001, the fortified Islamic Palace is listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site and is an absolute must-visit place in Zaragoza. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Number 1. Basilica de Nuestra Señora del Pilar. With its soaring towers and grand presence along the banks of the Ebro River, the Basilica of Our Lady of Pilar is the city's most iconic landmark and the most popular things to see in Zaragoza, and it's not hard to see why not only is it huge, but it's beautiful. And when you are approaching the church, you will be stunned at its magnificent. You definitely need to spend a lot of time to explore the whole cathedral. The Basilica del Pilar or Cathedral Basilica de Nuestra Señora del Pilar de Zaragoza, a Roman Catholic church, is considered the largest Baroque church in the country. This gem of Baroque architecture was built between the 17th and 18th centuries. Views of the basilica are most impressive from across the river, whereas the entrance is on the other side of the Plaza del Pilar, a spacious town square lined with elegant historical buildings. Take time to admire the basilica's monumental exterior, then enter the awe-inspiring interior, which holds a precious object of veneration. The basilica holds the distinction of being the first church devoted to the Virgin Mary and is one of the most important pilgrimage churches in Spain, after Santiago de Compostela. Since the Middle Ages, pilgrims have journeyed here to honor an image of the Virgin Mary and the Sagrada Columna, a pillar of jasper stone that is associated with a Marian apparition. According to the legend, Saint James the Apostle came to Caesar Augusta where he had a vision of the Virgin Mary in Jerusalem. During this vision, the Virgin gave James a figure of herself and a pillar of stone, instructing him to build a church here. Saint James built a small chapel dedicated to Saint Mary on this spot, making it the first Marian shrine in Christendom, then a larger church, then the actual basilica initiated in 1681. So, Pilar became the patron saint of the city and the Hispanidad. Several other churches were later built on the site before the Grand Basilica we see today. The foundations of the Romanesque church date back to 1118. Today, the Pilar stands proudly with 130 meters length and 67 meters width and 11 domes. The basilica displays the Virgin del Pilar figure behind a mantelpiece. This icon is taken out and presented to the faithful every year on January 2, commemorating the date when the Virgin appeared. The other sacred object, the Sagrada Columna, is now adorned with fanciful silver plating. Other valuable religious artworks and lavish Baroque monuments are found throughout the basilica. Of special interest are the alabaster high altarpiece and the frescoes by Goya. Also, pay attention to the holy chapel inside, which was designed by Ventura Rodriguez. As remarkable inside as it is outside, head inside to look around at its magnificent interior, murals and architecture, then take the elevator to the top to enjoy some of the most spectacular views of the city. There are regular services that you can observe and locals pop into the basilica all the time, giving it a very special feel. Never miss one of the most gorgeous cathedrals in Spain. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watchzilla and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.